What's up guys? It's a gloomy Monday here in Pennsylvania. They're cutting down a tree across the street. Probably the most exciting thing that's gonna happen today. <laughs> uh, but we're doing the new weekly vlog style. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what's going on today. Uh, I came in earlier, did some stuff, and then I went home to eat something and I'm just coming back right now. My guys have been packing up the meat orders all day. here most important thing that i was talking about on last week's video is that we will have a new dry ice supplier so we'll see how their delivery goes tomorrow morning outside of that we should be having a new shipment of some products for frankie's strange foods and frankie's naturals tomorrow a few things here and there so that's the next thing coming in uh, i did order some more ingredients for more soups we're gonna make a Vichy Soie this week. I gotta buy an immersion blender. Uh, and we're gonna do Giardiniera, which is like Italian, it's like an Italian cauliflower pickled vegetable thing. Uh, so that's gonna be ready in a few weeks with the sauerkraut and the pickles. And I was curious if you guys wanted just like a beef, uh, like soup, like just beef and collagen broth, like just plain beef. So we take the bones, meat, we make a stock out of it, very concentrated high gelatin, and then we just put meat in it and cook the meat until it's tender. And it would just be like pure beef and pure beef stock. So you could just take that and eat it as a beef soup, like if you're carnivore, or you could add whatever you want to it, depending on your dietary restrictions and ingredients. Uh, but that, that would be obviously very expensive because, you know, the collagen broth is already $10 a jar. So plus the meat is probably gonna be like 20 bucks at least. I haven't done the math on it yet, but We'll see. I, th I think we'll do that next. We'll see how the beef and barley soup sells. Um, next time when I make the beef and barley stew, although it was absolutely delicious this time, we're going to add some wine and some coconut cream. Yeah, so we got the egg orders going out this week. This is uh, leftover milk. Maybe we get an ice cream machine by the end of this year, maybe not. This other stuff, cottage cheese. We got some heavy cream. I told you guys like two weeks ago, the heavy cream is now like much thicker because I bought the Amish farmer, the, the cream separator. So very, very thick, heavy cream, some butter, running low on butter. And we got plenty of yogurt. Honestly, very underrated probiotic, raw yogurt made with natural culture. For Waterkeeper, we have the apple in stock now. We have plain as usual, and this is pineapple. Roast beef this week as usual. We kind of stopped the prime rib. Uh, this might taste a little different. We, we put some extra thyme and uh, rosemary we had on the outside. I'm not really sure if you know, a little crust is gonna make that much of a flavor difference. I literally just changed the smoke alarm yesterday. So I guess I'll have to change it again. Yeah, I'll try the roast beef for lunch and I'll report back to you guys tomorrow, but the temperature on it looks amazing. My guys have been doing a really good job. That's what we use thermometers. So these are the rest of the orders my guys are doing today. Looks like my guys are gonna be busy all day. Here's another pallet of meat going out. Now this is the chicken that's going to be in the uh, new chicken share. So you're gonna get two of everything but six of the breasts. So it's six drumsticks. About a pound of drumsticks, so you're getting two of those. The chicken wings, two of these. You can tell like the meat's a lot darker than normal. It's almost like a wild bird. These are the chicken thighs, very dark coloring. Very dark coloring on those. So two thighs, two wings, two drumsticks. You're gonna get one whole chicken. Again, see that darker coloring? Nice yellow purple. And then these are the breasts. You're gonna get six packages of these. They're kind of tiny. I mean, that's why you're getting six packages. Half pound each. So each breast is like a nice small four ounce portion. So six of those. So that's three pounds of breast and then two pounds each of thigh, drumstick, and wing, which is nine pounds, and then it's about a two and a half pound whole chicken. 
So you're getting over 10 pounds of corn and soy free chicken for $100, which is probably half the price, no exaggeration, half the price of any other corn and soy free chicken online. So I'm happy that we we're able to work with the Amish farmers and get like an affordable corn and soy free option for you guys. But it's at the expense of my sanity. Yeah, so besides that chicken share, the only... So in addition to the chicken share, we now have the beef and barley stew made with all high quality organic ingredients. If you guys want to see the list of ingredients, it's on the uh, meat website on the front page. First product you'll see. And then we just have the fresh lamb share in the fridge. Yeah, I don't think anyone bought one of these yet, so hopefully, uh, hopefully they don't go to waste. I know most people aren't that big on lamb, like the beef, so maybe we'll just have to tell the, the Amish farmer that we can't take the lamb. I mean, the problem with lamb is it's like expensive and again, like people usually prefer beef over it, so I'll have to see what we want to do with that. I don't have anything like crazy important that needs to be done today, uh, so we're probably just going to uh, do some orders for the non-meat businesses. Uh, maybe do a few odds and end things here and there and that's gonna be a, just a relatively short day not too much work i do have to find an immersion blender though and uh and some other equipment because i was supposed to go uh to visit my amish buddy that makes potato chips it's like a three-hour drive away so i wanted to you know kill a few birds with one stone and stop by the restaurant supply place which is on the way there but the restaurant supply guy is like uh he has to like go, go to the docker or something tomorrow. So it's not going to work out. So I'll have to figure out uh, when I'm going to go over there and get the rest of the restaurant stuff. But that should be it for uh, today, Monday. Hopefully uh, a few things happen tomorrow and uh, Wednesday and I'll get to show you guys some cooler stuff. All right, guys. It's only Tuesday and I am ready to have a stroke. So delivery came for some non-perishable food products from a large distributor and one pal was missing. So I come in about half an hour after delivery came and on the bill of lading, which is just the paperwork the trucker gives you, it says one pallet missing. So I call up the truck driver. I'm like, what's going on? One pallet missing, what do you mean? And he's like, oh, I spoke to my supervisor this morning and at the warehouse, there was one pallet missing. If I was here, I would have probably refused the delivery. So I'm trying to get the guy to send me his supervisor's number because it doesn't make any sense. They're missing part of my order in the morning before they even leave. It's not like the guy realized it was missing on the truck and then he just said, and you know what they, you don't piss me off? Oh, contact your sales rep. What do you mean contact my sales rep? How about I charge back my fucking credit card and make you guys figure it out? Like go, like what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, bro, I'm, every company I do business with just treats me like complete dog shit. All right, outside of the nonsense, I'm telling you guys, I should have been in Mexico six years ago. And for, for, guys, for, from what's happened to me the past few years, like this isn't that big of a deal, but it's just something else every day. Uh, electric pallet jacks came in today. I got a really good price on two of these used electric pallet jacks. They're just a lot easier to, uh, to move stuff around than with uh, the manual stuff. Like these, you just press the button, it goes down, and it goes back and forth. You know, you can move really, really heavy pallets by yourself very efficiently. So from like a time investment perspective, this is gonna be worth it. Now, brand new, hell no, brand new. These are like, I don't know. I think they're over $10,000 each brand new, but we got two of these for, <laughs> for a very, very good price. Hopefully they don't crap out in a month because this thing, you know, it's big. You, you, you don't really wanna take this on the trucks because it's heavy so we don't really use this forklift unless we have to put stuff high up so nice affordable investment and guys i'm never going to be like whole foods or these huge conglomerates that you know just for like something like deli slicers they'll have Bizerba come in and they'll spend probably 30 40 50 thousand dollars on just deli slicers you know they're buying brand new equipment paying for service contracts all that stuff so you know these people Large companies like to piss money away, but I have to uh, I have to go through that order and figure out what's missing before I have too much of a conniption. Yeah, so we got one pallet of stuff. 
but one is missing. And I don't know what's missing, so we're gonna look. This fucking cocksucker told me he would text me his supervisor's number and now he's not picking up his phone. Give me a fucking break, dude. So meat delivery came in today. These are the hanger steaks. Yeah, my guys are going through this meat while we got the other order. We got a lot of beef chuck rolling because we saw a lot of like one pound chuck steaks and chuck roasts. We got some brisket in, hanger steaks because we ran out. Uh, we got some lamb for some lamb stew meat, some sirloin for sirloin steaks, one pound. And then we got uh, the Thor's hammer, like beef, large shank for roast for the holidays. So not, not a lot of meat. Usually we get, you know, like 10 or 15 I different items in, which is a little confusing. So this is just a small order of larger stuff. And we're also going to probably use some of that chuck stew meat to make a plain beef soup with just beef stock and beef meat. So we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, I finished going through everything to figure out what's missing. So I ordered some like beef jerky products because we can't make our own for another few months. Those did not show up. There were some dried apples and dried pineapples. We got like a small amount of the dried apples, but the bulk of everything is missing. And then we're just missing some chewing gum and some chocolate. So the main thing that I'm irritated about is, you know, that significant amount of meat not showing up. That, that's the main big thing that's missing. The chocolate and the gum were like a few things on the side here, but um, that, the, the meat was pretty important. But let me show you guys what we just got in stock available now. So on the foods website, we got a few restocks and a few new things. The restocks are the macadamia nut butter. We have just plain instead of honey added to it. So we opted for the plain one. We restocked the pecan butter, which is a very unique and interesting product. We restocked the jovial cannellini beans in glass, very high quality. And I think that's it for the restocks. The new products, we have ghee, organic clarified butter. This is good for high heat cooking, sauteing. This is like what you basically want to use when you're searing your steak for a buttery flavor without burning the butter. On the grain end of things, we got some organic pancake mix. I'm gonna show you guys a recipe uh, for this, or actually by the time this video is posted, the recipe will be up already, mixing the organic pancake mix with organic oats. Very, very delicious. You know, this isn't like super 100% great clean. It has a small amount of leaving in it, but it's the highest quality pancake mix that I found. And if you just try to use regular flour to make your pancake, it's not gonna turn out that good. Uh, down here we have King Arthur bread flour. Uh, this has a higher protein content. It makes the bread rise a lot more. I've been using this, you know, the all purpose flour, like I'll make for cookies and this pastry flour I like using for breading fish. I really like that whole wheat pastry flour for like breading meat and stuff. Yeah, so these are the organic apples, just dried apples, that's it. Organic dried apple, very hard product to find. I ordered a lot more, but right now we just have three boxes of it. I prefer eating fresh apples, but like obviously if you're traveling on the go, this is what I would do. Again, like fresh apples, much more hydrated, higher volume, higher fiber content. Fresh apples way, way better, but if you can't have fresh apples, that's the next best thing. And then here we have some sugars and stuff for the water kefir. So this is maple syrup, organic glass bottled maple syrup. Been trying this, it's pretty good. Obviously to go with the pancakes or oats. And then we have stuff that you guys can use to make the water kefir. So we have organic raw cane sugar and we have organic molasses. So you guys can buy the water kefir grains on the foods website. And in addition, if you don't have access to sugar or molasses, we now sell organic sugar and molasses. So that's the food stuff. Now we have a few new things on Frankie's Naturals. Uh, just three quick things, guys. We got a bunch of baby wipes. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm opening a pharmacy. Uh, these are what I use for myself. So I figured, you know, if people don't really want them, I'll just use them myself. But now we have these minimally inflammatory baby wipes. You can use them for your face, your hands in your car, or, you know, on the toilet after you go. For the body wash, we got a vanilla scent now. Oh, it's vanilla mint. I don't know about the mint, but uh, I like this body wash a lot. We have the unscented here, and then we have vanilla, if you guys want to smell a little better. And then we finally got like a peppermint dental floss. So this is mint. We were selling cinnamon. We still have cinnamon available, but now we have mint floss available. So baby wipes, vanilla body wash, mint floss, not too much. We have the moisturizing cream beef butter available now, and hopefully we can have the tooth powder and lip balm available 
in like two or three weeks. I'm just waiting on the labels. Like the product's ready. So it's whatever. But yeah, decent amount going on today. We got uh, that delivery in, although it was a little messed up. We got a meat order in, meat delivery in for some stuff. I'm gonna keep my guys a little busy. And then uh, we got those two electric pallet jacks in and I got the contractor on the roof I think I said it already. He's taken down the chimney that was um, that was like falling apart and crumbling uh, for insurance purposes. We'll see how they're doing out there. Well, good thing is no one got hit by anything, but I don't know why they're throwing stuff off the roof. Uh, yeah, it looks like they uh, they already got it taken down. Yeah, so I think I explained it already, but like the insurance company saw the the brick chimney on the roof is a liability. So we got that taken down and they also wanted uh, an inspection on the on the roof. So just like, like little nonsense things of running a business that you spent too much money on. Yeah, so this order coming in incorrectly has thrown me off a little bit today. So I gotta print some orders, sort things out, make sure we get all the meat orders out today and then all the other stuff. Is not really that important a lot of the time when meat or when new products come in my priority is i got to get home on my computer asap to to list the products and that involves you know either making new product descriptions or i gotta like uh, photoshop and make the the pictures for the website so you know because all the pictures have to be certain dimensions and white background on the website so that's going to take me two or three hours but you know that that's the most important thing like when you get the product in, you gotta have it listed for sale ASAP. So um, we're gonna wrap things up for an hour or two. I'm gonna get everything listed on the website and then I can kinda relax and do the rest of the stuff I need to do today. But since it is Tuesday, I have to get the West Coast and Central meat orders out because tomorrow we can't ship those. So it's more important that we get that done. So I tried the roast beef for lunch yesterday and those herbs really make a difference, the rosemary and the thyme, because sometimes like grass-fed beef has this almost like fishy, grassy flavor that sometimes happens, but the herbs completely like offset any of that. So really, really amazing difference. Uh, if you guys tried the roast beef this week and you like the herbs, definitely send me some feedback and let me know. I think we might keep doing it. But, uh, you know, the reason we have those fresh herbs on hand is because, you know, we're making the, the soups and the stocks, so it's not typical. Yeah, the electric pallet jacks are really helpful because, you know, if the pallet weighs over like 1,000, 1,500 pounds, you really have to like push or pull it. And this, this is slanted here, so these things pick up like two, 3,000 pounds like nothing and you just walk around with them. So it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I don't want to complain too much about this distributor, but if they're going to tell me that, oh, the product's missing, we can't re-deliver, now i'm missing product i was supposed to list to kind of like complete the showcase and they have a minimum of like two thousand dollars for delivery so it's just the whole scenario is really stupid they should we'll see if they remedy it that's the best case scenario is they fix their problem and i don't have to deal with it or they make me go through their bs corporate system and i gotta file claims and place a new order what am i i gotta place a new order for the products and hope they show up this time. It's like a really, really stupid scenario. All right, it's like three o'clock. I've had enough of a headache today. I gotta go home and uh, probably do an hour of quick work on my computer and then I have to film content for YouTube. So let's get it over with. See you guys for Wednesday. All right, guys, it is Wednesday after almost having a stroke yesterday. I uh, decided that I'm just gonna wander around today and do nothing. All right, guys, so the main thing we're doing today is just like a lot of chuck roll we got chuck steaks back we got the chuck roast back uh we got some chuck stew meat <laughs> and uh we're gonna cut even more uh roasted stew meat for the the beef soup so you guys are gonna see that on the website by the time this video's up it's just gonna be like plain beef chunks in high quality gelatin collagen bone broth so for you guys that are like strict on your diet and don't want the barley stew this is like full carnivore ready and you could add whatever you want in it that will be available um, we got the produce in this week's produce delivery. So we have, oh, I forgot. I bought grapes to make grape water kefir. You guys are lucky. I'm a lunatic and we'll spend $70 on organic grapes. 
This is all cauliflower for the jardiniera, organic cauliflower. These are organic leeks. Uh, we have a lot of organic leeks. And then we have some organic russet potatoes. We're gonna make a Vichy swap. So that's gonna be a problem because I don't have an immersion blender. And then here we have some oregano for the jardiniera as well as some tiny hot peppers to go in the jardiniera as well. Yeah, so the jardiniera is gonna be another lacto-fermented product we'll have in a few weeks. I didn't realize how expensive a commercial immersion blender was. They're like a thousand bucks. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just, we have like three Ninja blenders. I think just for this first Vichy Soie, we're just gonna use the blenders. And uh, I do wanna make like cream of mushroom soup and other stuff in the future, maybe the white bean puree. So immersion blender is a good investment. It's just, I have to sell you know, three batches of Vichy Swat to pay for the immersion blender. So maybe I'll try to find one used because like RoboCube commercial immersion blender for the size of the pot is like a thousand bucks new and they're hard to come around used. So I don't know about that. Uh, so yeah, we got a lot of glass in, uh, glass bottles. These are gonna be for hopefully some new organ supplements products uh, that come in soon. Oh no, this these are the, um, well, this is still glass. These are more glass carboys for the fermentation jardiniera. And that is, that is glass for the supplements we're gonna do. Uh, so I got stuck in a conversation with the contractor. He just had to like fix some stuff on the freezer wall in the back. There was water leaking through from the roof because uh, there's no gutters there. You can't install gutters there. And then uh, he had to take a chimney down for the insurance company. That's what he was doing yesterday. But, uh, you guys wanna see the extent of my mechanical experience? I told you guys I can drill holes into walls. I know the difference between a wood screw and a concrete screw now. So hopefully this will keep you know the temperature in here good and we shouldn't have to worry about it. I guess that's gonna be it for Wednesday. Not too much going on. A few deliveries came in. We sent out a small amount of meat orders and uh, we're mainly just making stew meat and chuck meat stuff. So maybe a few new things will happen tomorrow, Thursday, like the nightmare order from Tuesday being resolved, but who knows? Oh, good news. The meat that was missing that I was complaining about, like, uh, cause I, that I paid for their mistake last time or the missing meat last time, it was another mistake on their end and they sent it out. So now we have the two ounce plain belt on without me having a stroke. But see you guys Thursday. Bro, I can't anymore. I 100% did not confirm this product to be delivered. We got two pallets of beef fat and a pallet of beef liver, which we needed, but I just walked in the freezer and saw it. My guys didn't even tell me we got the pallets in today. And I, I, and I think I can have two remote locations. Oh my God, then I definitely have a stroke. Yeah, so we have a lot of uh, that beef liver and that beef fat all needs to be portioned, so. What's up guys, it is Thursday. Some more glass bottles have been delivered. These are for uh, hopefully the new organ supplements products now we didn't receive them yet i bought the bottles in advance but if they don't show up i have bigger issues than a few hundred bucks worth of glass bottles so i mean th that delivery issue was somewhat resolved i had to go through their nonsense protocol i mean the whole the whole scenario is ridiculous i ended up you know filing the claim online and then i had to place a new order for the items that were missing but th the whole scenario is ridiculous because I'm thinking, wait, now what? I just have to hope they don't make the same mistake next week. Like, they lose my pallet of product in the warehouse. They send the order out anyway, and then tell me to file a claim online for the missing products as if they didn't make the mistake and knew about it. And then I have to place a new order for them. So the, the, it's, just, it's just annoying because like the, the whole idea is, okay, you guys made a mistake. You're making me spend hours figuring out what's missing. They didn't tell me what was missing from the order. I had to figure out what was missing from the order. I had to go online and, and file the claims and all that stuff, but it's whatever. It's just dumb. Cause now, now what happens if, you know, the more things that are involved, like, okay, now what if there's an issue with the claims? What if they need more proof? What if there's an issue with the delivery next week? It's just to, to not fix that from a business perspective is annoying. But that, again, that's how these corporate entities treat people like garbage. So. You know, hopefully you guys continue to support me and we can uh, take some power back, right? Oh, but you know what the messed up thing is and the reason I 
kept all this stuff in this video is because after all that nonsense, and it's expected, they send me like a passive aggressive email. Oh, we can close your account if you'd like. How messed up is that? They make a mistake, they don't wanna fix it, and they threaten that they're not gonna do business with you anymore. It's fucking despicable, fucking disgusting. So outside of the nonsense, uh, we got the brisket ready this morning. So the brisket's back in stock on the website. We have four pound portions and whole brisket. Uh, we got some of the best burger blend back in stock, which is a mixture of just like really freshly ground uh, chuck, brisket, and steaks. And then we made the beef soup, the plain beef soup. That should be ready for tomorrow. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow when it's ready. Uh, right now, I'm printing out some orders. I have to fill some orders on the other businesses like Oregon Supplements, Wild Fish, Link, Frankie's Naturals. And I got to print out some meat orders for my guys to fill. Those jars weren't for the supplements. Those are actually jars for more of the tooth powder. So uh, my guys have to jar up the rest of that remineralizing tooth powder. And we got some things to fix the lip balm. So the lip, they have to do the lip balm too. And uh, we still have the produce for the Vichy Soi and the Jardiniera in the fridge. So might tackle that tomorrow, maybe on the weekend. Not sure yet. Yeah, let me print these orders out and then I'll take you guys around a little bit. Yeah, so it's a lot of beef liver. Already all packaged up. This is all the uh, beef suet fat. The bags are a little large, so we're just gonna portion them in half yeah maybe a bit off a little more than i could chew with the jardiniera and vichy swab this week but we'll see if we get everything finished my guys are breaking down that powder of beef liver they probably didn't need to they only need to do a little bit of it but guys i just got an email notification there's a 400 million dollar <laughs> beef processing plant for sale in brazil so uh I don't know if you guys want to do a little fundraiser. I can have like, yeah. bro, is not that be amazing? I have this like billion dollar exporting beef operation in Brazil and I'm just surrounded by Brazilian girls all day in my office. You guys got it. I mean, 400 million is a little bit of a stretch, isn't it? They probably export like half the beef from Brazil. Yeah, so we got the beef liver back in stock, beef fat back in stock, and we just finished that plain beef soup and you know, for only being bone broth, beef, and salt, it tastes pretty good. Like, I could eat a jar of that just for lunch on my own. So that's going to be like a really high protein, high quality, just only beef in it, only beef. That'll be available by the time you guys, uh, by the time you guys see this video. It'll be for sale on the website already. I'm not sure. I got to do the math on the price, but it, there's a lot of meat in there. We're probably going to weigh out the meat in each jar and make sure it's all the same. We put just a little bit of salt in that. Uh, it's definitely under salted, but uh, just in case you guys are worried, like, oh, is it gonna be, no, it's, there's really like no salt in there, just a minimal amount. And if you guys wanna add more salt, you can. Most of you probably will. Yeah, I usually try to keep like the negative stuff out of the vlogs, but this like distributor issue was one of the more team things that's happened. Like a lot of stuff I, I just haven't talked about on the YouTube for one reason or another, uh, but, I got a little more work to do. Uh, we basically packed up the orders today, some meat orders, all the non-meat business orders as well, foods, Wi-Fi shielding and stuff. I have to go home, eat lunch, and I got a guy bringing uh, some equipment later. He said he's gonna be here at like 5.30, so I'm probably gonna have to come back myself, open up and unload the equipment with him. So maybe we'll film that real quick, but I'm not too happy about that. Yeah, so my guys are leaving now at four o'clock, so I'm just gonna leave with them. I was supposed to cut the bottom of that vinyl curtain. That's why I turned those lights on, but I gotta come back at like 5.30 because some guy's dropping off some soup equipment. And then another guy is coming at like 6.30. So I'm gonna be here later for an hour or two and I'll just finish everything I have to do then. Because like, I'm not gonna wait here now. I'm not gonna wait until 5.30 for him and I haven't eaten. So some days not having too much fun. $2,800 later. We have a Garland 40 gallon tilt skillet. This thing is huge, way bigger than I thought. I thought I was getting a deal on this because I saw them going for like 10 or 12,000, but the, these things are like, like $25,000 new. So although like me spending 2,800, like probably shouldn't be because I'm, I'm kind of tight on funds on the business, but 
to pass up on a deal like this, especially when we started making the soups and stocks. Uh, you know, this like, this stays up and you can like saute all your vegetables and everything in here, get the meat really nice and brown, deglaze it, and then you can tilt it and pour it into the pot and then cook it. So if you don't have something like this, you know, you need to brown the meat in a different way. And then, so either way, you need to buy like a, a whole flat top or range or something. But this is, this is what you really need to make uh, a decent volume of soups and stocks. So, you know, even though we got some really good feedback on the, uh, the last batch of beef barley stew or the, the new batch of beef barley stew, in order to get like really, really good flavor, you have to caramelize every vegetable and really deglaze the pan really well, which is what this equipment is going to do. So this means that uh, we're going to be able to do this a lot easier and it's going to be a lot tastier too. Um, I'm excited because now we can do the cream of mushroom soup. You, know, you can't make cream of mushroom soup unless you uh, caramelize the mushrooms. It adds a lot of flavor. So I got to have my electrician come and hook this thing up. And uh, I'm, I should probably try to go to the restaurant guy and get some, uh, some exhaust fans and some more exhaust stuff so that the electrician can set everything up all at once. Now we just have to wait for the guy to come with the immersion blender so we can make the Vichy Swat easier this week. I'm just gonna label some stuff. I don't know if I should try to really get my hands dirty right now. It's like almost seven o'clock. Deal number two of the day. I feel like I'm running a used equipment business. Robocoop MP550. These are like uh, about $1,300 new. And I got it for 700. So we sa saved a bit of money. We didn't save like a crazy amount of money, but I, I wasn't gonna buy this. I was just gonna use the blender, so. Uh, let me just wipe this down a bit, clean it up, and now we can make the Vichy Swat and cream of mushroom soup a lot easier. And uh, even like mayonnaise and white bean puree, now we can do because, you know, if you don't have something that's big enough, this thing's, uh, this thing's pretty big. The next model up is even more expensive. I think there was one for like uh, two, almost $2,000. They go from like 900 to 1300 to... 1900 maybe there was one in between 1300 and 1900 but then it's like all right well well i just spend the extra 300 for the bigger one but uh yeah no it's not easy when you're not like uh evil corporate overlords who just have ridiculously big budgets and buy whatever new equipment and get huge maintenance contracts and never have to worry about anything but the reason they're able to do that stuff and uh and not have to worry about like pricing and the money they spend is because their general customer service and the prices they charge are usually ripping people off but i'm all down here by myself at night so everything's pretty much done i'm tempted to to do more work and fix some stuff but you know i'm gonna do maybe 20 more minutes of work clean clean some stuff so my guys don't have to clean tomorrow and then uh and then uh, i'll go home what's up guys it is friday my lower back is completely destroyed <laughs> i was like i was having a hard time walking around last night but i feel a little better after i got some rest uh the potato chips came in uh we didn't have coconut oil so we sent some wagyu beef fat this time to make them so we have wagyu beef fat potato chips in sea salt mushroom and salt and vinegar i know some of you guys said they were too salty last time i told him to use half as much salt uh, I'm going to try these later, and in the vlog tomorrow, Saturday, uh, I'll report back to you guys on how they taste. I got a really cool name idea for these. I don't know if we're going to do beef at moving forward, but cattle chips. You know how, like, kettle is K-E-T-T-L-E, -T -T -E, like kettle chips, like kettle fried chips? We changed it to cattle chips, just swapped the E for an A, K-A-T-T-L-E chips. Fucking, guys, I'm endless, endless marketing ideas, endless marketing ideas. Uh, so we'll have these available on the foods website. And uh, also my guys made the plain beef stew, which I'll show you guys shortly. Uh, that um, that tilt skillet that came, yeah, it was 2,800, but I gotta pay the electrician to install it. I gotta pay for exhaust and hood vents. It's, I'm spending way too much money in here, but it, it should be worth it when we can make the soups and stuff for you guys a little easier. Here we have it guys, beef and bone broth. We basically filled the beef to the top as much as would fit in the jar, and then we put the, the soup on it. So, so when this freezes, it's gonna expand a little. We had to leave a little space at the top. But this is like a really nice 
plain beef and bone broth. Definitely like the highest B vitamin and protein thing you can consume because of all the amino acids in the bone broth. And uh, you know, you have the stewed down meat, which is like chuck and really soft and tender. So very, very easy on digestion. You know, we have this with the meat now. You know, over here we have the, the chicken extract. And over here we have the collagen extract. And this collagen broth, guys, is literally like jello. The reason a lot of other companies aren't making, well, as far as I know, no one is making as high of a quality of a product because the bone is so expensive. It's hundreds and hundreds of dollars of bones every single time we make this. So, you know, again, like gelatin. So when you go in the store and you see bone broth and beef stocks and they're really liquidy, almost like water, it's because they just didn't use enough high quality bones. And even if they did, even if you have this, I've, again, I've never seen a high quality gelatinous like jelly bone broth available online or whatever. And especially like these farmers, like whatever farm you buy from that sells stock and soup, even if it is like that, which I highly doubt, are they using, you know, glass bottle mineral water? Cause, cause, <laughs> cause I'm a lunatic and like not making any money, you know, do they have pallets of glass bottle and mineral water they're using? Cause even if they say they use well water or filtered water, you can't trust it. You can't trust anything in the water table, at least if you're going to drink it or consume it. And yeah, it gets crazy if you're like washing everything with like, I'm not washing pots with mineral water. I'm rinsing pots with mineral water. I'm, I'm, I've completely lost it guys, but it's whatever, you know, I don't, I don't like selling people stuff that I wouldn't personally eat myself. So that's, that's just how it is. So I'm happy we have the high quality stuff now. A lot of new things this week, you know, beef barley soup. We got that plain beef stew now, beef and bone broth. I think we're gonna do another soup by the end of the weekend. We're gonna have a lot of stuff, new stuff moving forward. We got the Wagyu potato chips in stock, beef liver and beef fat are back in stock. Uh, we got the new products on the foods website after having a stroke, maple syrup, sugar, molasses, ghee, pancake mix. We're gonna have some more stuff coming Tuesday. So when this video is posted on Monday, you guys see this video on Monday. If you wanna wait till tomorrow to order off the food site, we're just gonna get a few more things in stock like some, uh, some chocolate, some gum, uh, and some, some beef snacks. So if you're interested in any of those three things, chocolate, gum, or like beef sticks, uh, just wait till tomorrow. If not, then just get whatever you want on the food side, I mean, especially if you like just want potato chips. Not sure when the eggs are coming, probably another two weeks. But uh, yeah, also we'll have the, we should have the remineralizing tooth powder available in a week or two and the, uh, the lip balm and then maybe some more stuff. So I have a lot going on, a lot coming in the next month or two and then hopefully it dies down because I'm going broke. <laughs> but uh, in regards to what I have to do today, um, I'm gonna print some orders out, do some orders, clean some things up and uh, I don't think I have I need to kill myself and work all day again, but the main thing I'm doing today is showing my guys how to make the jardiniera and the Vichy Swat. Those are gonna be the two main things. Ginger lime water kefir is in stock. This says lemon, but I confirmed with my guys and saw it visually. This is indeed ginger lime, guys. So ginger lime water kefir back in stock. We got a small amount of pineapple, decent amount of apple, and then some plain water kefir. Yeah, all these potato chips have to be uh, labeled. So it's probably like an hour work for my guys. And I don't really say it enough. Like when you guys buy stuff from me, you're basically supporting like mostly local Amish farmers and then just kind of small businesses that like, like producing high quality food. So your money is not going to some, uh, some, daughter's mercedes to say the least so i'm just filling some orders for organ supplements got a little backed up because we ran out of vitamin d3 and uh, i'm going to crack open one of these taste nirvana coconut waters i try not to because i was up drinking the whole bottle so
I think I talked about these when we got them in. I usually never liked coconut water, but I was like always trying to drink it because it's like the only natural source of potassium that you can get, well, with the exception of lemon light now. But this brand tastes Nirvana in glass. The only coconut water I've ever had that I actually enjoy and like drinking. Yeah, I told myself I wasn't going to pound the bottle, but I did. <laughs> so the whole thing, you get 25 grams of sugar and about 1,500 milligrams of potassium. So it's really perfect for, like, for energy and stuff. Uh, and then the actual lemon light is, like, if you're sweating a lot or if you're an athlete or something. I was sweating my guts out on, uh, I forgot what day it was. But I always wear like four layers, so I should have probably drank the lemon light the other day. But most of the time, I'm not like sweating like crazy, 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 you know. If you're an athlete, if you're working out, or you're sweating a lot in the hot sun, then yeah, you want to take electrolytes. Now, I'm not going to be like all these other shills and, and try to sell everything as much as possible. You don't need electrolytes unless you're sweating a lot. So keep that in mind. And I mean like, you know. Like sweating for multiple hours a day another delivery of nothing exciting so this is uh the glass bottles i thought came yesterday for the uh the organ supplement stuff these are the other glass bottles frankie's free range meat so most of this is glass bottles for the organ supplements and then i got some jars for the pickles because uh the pickles we're not going to fit in the jars we currently have you know what actually like the pickles shrunk a little bit in the brine. So I think we might be okay with the all jars. I don't know. Either way, uh, we can use those pickle jars for when we buy uh, the pickles next time because we're going to get like regular sized pickles instead of the tiny Persian ones. Honestly, guys, <laughs> like I should just name it beef and gelatin, not bone broth, because this is like to get a high quality gelatin naturally like this it's it's so expensive to do this was in the freezer for like an hour or two and i just grabbed it out for lunch because i'm gonna try it but it's already like completely solid with the gelatin i was planning on having a short day i wanted to go home and have lunch but i texted the owner of the building i was like hey uh we fixed the electrical on the door but it's still not working do you know a company that come in he he came over and uh, he basically figured out, you know, uh, we opened up the little box up there. So the point is, fr freezer door is working now. This was the only door that wasn't working, but now it opens automatically. And, you know, we do come through here a lot through the freezer, so uh, into the warehouse. So save, save the money on a repair bill, you know. But I'm showing my guys right now how to make the jardiniera and we're prepping some stuff for the Vichy swap. So again, as with the sauerkraut and the pickles, those won't be ready for a few weeks, but well, I gotta stop talking about it because maybe I might mess, they might get messed up, who knows? They might not turn out okay and we can't sell them, but we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> I'm confident in my culinary abilities for the, for the lacto-fermented stuff to some degree, but outside of that, the, the Vichy swap and uh, the Vichy Swa will be ready uh, by the weekend. Yeah, the Vichy Swa will be ready, available for sale by the time this video is posted. But yeah, the Jardiniera needs a few weeks like the other stuff. Now that we have the vegetables and stuff in here, like, you know, making Vichy Swa with the leeks, like there's a lot of extra top. So I think I'm going to try to save the food scraps and send them back to the farm. It, it's a huge pain in the A. It, if I had my own farm, yeah, I would save the food scraps and feed it to my animals. But... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send these Amish people these food scraps and you know, I'm not getting paid for it. They're not giving me a better discount. So we'll work out. I'll see. I'll see how much I send them. If it's like a one-off thing or a two-off thing, it's fine. But, you know, so that's a, like the Amish aren't really used to outsiders being nice or kind or genuine. So when I do it, they don't really reciprocate that much. But it's fine. Yeah, because when you do the Vichy Swa... Like these bottom parts of the leeks need to be cleaned and cut and roasted, but all the top part like this, this is a lot of waste. We got some cute little organic sweet peppers for the jardiniera. 
of that have to be individually cut and de-seeded. Fresh oregano too. Yeah, this is not something that like any sane person would do. <laughs> Maybe like some Michelin star nut job would do it, but like they're charging seventy dollars for the dish in the restaurant. All right, guys, I'm just here at home trying the new Wagyu beef at potato chips. Uh, the regular sea salt are actually not salty enough, so they went a little too far in the other direction. Uh, but the chips are a lot like crunchier. You just fry them a little longer. My favorite flavor is the mushroom now. Before I like the salt and vinegar more. And then the salt and vinegar is my second favorite now. So the chips are very good. I'm happy with the improvements we made. I think you guys will like them more. Maybe you'll have to <laughs> sprinkle a little salt on the plain ones yourself. And uh, next batch, we should critique it a little more and, and have it perfect. But um, yeah, they're available on frankiesrangefoods.com. Very delicious. I like them. Uh, a little more than the coconut oil. They're a little better than the previous batch of chips, but the next batch I think will be even better. So I'll see you guys when I wake up tomorrow. What's up guys? It is Saturday. Normally pretty chill. Don't really have to do much, but one of my employees uh, couldn't come in today. So I might have to do a few hours of work and then we got to go home and do a live stream. So hopefully we get everything done. Hopefully we get everything done. So my guys have worked very hard to get everything prepped. We have all the onions, celery, sweet peppers, and cauliflower for the jardiniera. That's all the scraps that are going to the farmer. So we, we didn't really pack those up that night. It's just for the pigs. These are the potatoes we just cut for the Vichy Swa. These are <laughs> sitting in glass bottled mineral water. That's probably about $40 worth of water. Great. So all the food prep is basically done. Uh, we're just waiting on the uh, collagen bone broth to finish so we can use it for the Vichy Swa. Uh, we're going to make the jardiniera now. And since my guys did kind of finish everything, uh, they were asking me to go get the lunch. So I'm going to go drive over to the sandwich shop real quick to pick up their lunch. And then when I come back, uh, do a little bit of work. Nothing too crazy today. Yeah, my guys still have to help me put the tooth powder away in jars. And we still have to label these potato chips. So. We are a little backed up, but it's not like super, super important stuff until we got to fill a hundred potato chip orders on Tuesday and then we're screwed, but <laughs> we'll wait till that happens. So I'm just doing a few random things today. I'm figuring out, you know, like what box size we need to ship the new water key for containers in and uh, the label size for the new supplement products. Because if you want like a company to do it for you, well, you're going to pay like thousands of dollars in graphic designing costs, but doing it yourself, and making the labels yourself, it's like, it's like really annoying and aggravating, but you save a lot of money. Yeah, so the only way, you know, something like this would break, I guess, uh, you really have to throw the box because these are, these are packed so perfectly in here, so there's no movement. And the bubble wrap is like, the problem with making these like artisanal fermented products is the amount of prep work and like how meticulous you have to be to make everything super nice. It's, that's why most companies don't do it. You know, they just want to like throw stuff in machines. If you're not making it by hand, it's pretty much impossible to have a really high quality product with the exception of certain things. Like certain things you can make with machines, like potato chips are usually okay, but where like you have really tiny, delicate vegetables, it's different. Yeah, this is a lot of jardiniera. We're gonna have like four or five gallon containers. I think these are gonna shrink a lot after we brine them. So we'll probably condense them into two or three after we're done. And then maybe we'll mix them all together after the whole batch is done in a few weeks so that it's like a homogenous ratio of pickles to celery to peppers. But that's kind of hard to do unless they're, the pieces are really tiny. And if any of you guys are curious why I'm making these lacto fermented vegetables like sauerkraut pickles and the jardiniera is because normal store-bought stuff is a pickle brine, which is usually like vinegar and sugar and salt. So there's no probiotic benefit to eating like pickles or sauerkraut or most of those products from the store outside of feeding your gut bacteria. They would be a prebiotic. A lot of those foods are prebiotics. The gut bacteria eats them, but when it's a lacto ferment, which basically means it just sits in salt for a few weeks at room temperature, it becomes a probiotic. It becomes high in lactobacillus, the bacteria that are involved in the fermentation process. Also the bacteria most people are deficient in and need. So uh, these are gonna be very active probiotic cultures, just like our water kefir. And then 
you know, once they're ready, you know, we're gonna keep them refrigerated and ship them and they'll arrive in two or three days. So you'll have a nice high quality probiotic uh, food. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy to, uh, to do the fermentation stuff sometimes. We'll see how the sauerkraut turns out. That's the only one I'm a little skeptical about. I know the pickles and the jardiniere will be good, but the sauerkraut is uh, a little harder to get right. And I think I said it earlier with the soups and stews, guys, we only use glass bottled mineral water for everything. So like the brine that we're putting in the lacto-fermented vegetables, it's made with, you know, glass bottled mineral water. So that's an additional expense on our end, but you know when you buy these foods that you're not getting fluoride or halogens or, or crappy water. Because it's crazy to me that someone would make an organic soup or any organic product that involves water, like especially bread and soups and stuff. That's the reason I don't like buying those from the supermarket because I know or any, even a natural grocer or Whole Foods or organic markets is because I know they didn't use high quality water in them. So, okay, maybe they got all the other ingredients right, but for some reason these companies don't wanna do the additional expense of that, which I'm crazy enough to do. Vichy Swa is ready to go. The only thing I'm concerned about is we didn't really add any water to this, so uh, it's gonna be like a very gelatinous Vichy Swa. Might have to add some. I mean, it's always better to have like a, a concentrated soup instead of something that's like diluted, but that's like pure, thick, gelatinous collagen broth with potatoes and leeks. So I think I think it might actually work out because traditionally in a Vichy Swat, you add a lot of cream, but the collagen protein in that bone broth in there is gonna like almost thicken it naturally. So. When we just add a tiny bit of coconut cream, we can have like a low fat stew or lower fat product that's, uh, you know, so you don't feel like you need to go to sleep after you eat it. But that looks like most of the stuff is done for today, guys. I helped out making the jardiniera and the Vichy Swat, which I don't know what, what's wrong with me. I, I want to meet this, so I gotta stop doing nonsense. But also made the lip balm, the beef lip balm, that should be ready in a few weeks, and the uh, We're minimizing tooth powder too. I was worried the heaters on that freezer door wouldn't get it hot enough in the colder weather, but <laughs> it was almost like 95 degrees the other day. So good to know. We, ju we just turned the, the heaters in the freezer on for like a few hours and then just turn it off. They don't have to stay on. Otherwise we'll have cooked sauerkraut. Now what's nice is we're not gonna have to jar all of those up at once. You know, we could just do one container at a time, sell all the sauerkraut and then put the the rest of it in the jars because if you just have the sauerkraut sitting in the jar in the fridge you know it's, it's only good for like three weeks but if you just do partial batches at a time the product is as fresh and active as possible now they can't do that in supermarkets because you know the supermarket needs to buy all the product at once stock it and sell it you know the company by the time the supermarket gets the product it's already like a week or two into its shelf life. So you only have a few days where it's good, where you can actually eat it. But these products, by the time you get them, they're good for like two weeks. So it's just when you're talking about like active live culture products, like the water kefir we make, it's, you know, you have to make it, send it out direct to consumer. If there's grocery stores involved or it's sitting around in a shelf, it's no good. All right, so I'm leaving for Saturday. Hopefully I have enough time to eat lunch before the live stream. We just gotta do the meat orders tomorrow, finish up the Vichy Soi. Uh Yeah, that's really it. Do meat orders, finish up Vichy Soi. Put some stuff away. Well, I'll see you guys Sunday. What's up guys? It's a beautiful Sunday here. I was actually gonna lay out and get some sun, but I had to like film some stuff this morning and I do have to show my guys. So we'll just try to do like an hour of work here, just quick and then go tan by one o'clock so we get some UVB. Yeah, the main reason we've been able to do the extra stuff is because we ran out of eggs. Eggs should be back in, I don't know, a week or two, hopefully, which I've probably said a few times in this almost one hour vlog. But uh, when we get the new foam for the eggs, granted the foam company isn't scamming me, then we should just have more free time permanently. Yeah, my employee didn't come in again. He's saying his back hurts. Uh, I mean, I don't think they were lifting anything too heavy in here, but they do go to the gym, so I'm guessing he hurt his back at the gym because he's never had any issues before. 
Yeah, so in this scenario, where like I pay my guys hourly and I can't really afford to, you know, to pay them if they're not here working because when they work, stuff gets done, products get finished, and my sales go up. But, you know, since this hasn't really happened with him before, it's like the first time occurrence where he hasn't been able to come in and he's missed two days. I don't think I'm going to pay him for both days full, but I, I think I might just pay him for one day, just like a sick day or something, so... I'll oh, say I'm paying my guys too much money and they're fucking rent, so I'll have to sort it out next year. I told them I'd pay their rent for a year, so. Bro, and the fucking flood insurance is flood insurance is sixteen thousand a year. I have to pay up front. <laughs> I'm gonna be screwed in January. I'm gonna see if my insurance guy has another company that's cheaper. But uh I'm just gonna well I really shouldn't get some sun, bro. I really shouldn't. I have so much stuff to do today. We got the YouTube video up for today, Sunday. Um, I gotta show my guys a few things in there. I'm gonna print some orders. I have to send out, uh, I have to do like um, some website stuff. I have to fix the website to show all the new products and I have to send out like a notification for what we got in this week and the new orders for, for now, Sunday, so people can get the order in before tomorrow. But. Looks like my uh, guys labeled the potato chips. Hey, should we make this the potato chip room? If I actually had unlimited free time, I could put like all types of potato chip memorabilia all over the place. We got labels on everything. Organic potato chips. Hey, you guys have been ordering a lot of chips, but we should be nice and stocked up for the next two or three weeks. And uh, if we can somehow get the price down, if I can, you know, get the Samish guy to go a little lower, then we'll probably sell a lot more, a lot quicker. Yeah, so those electric burners take, like, a long time to get hot. So normally, potatoes should be cooked in, like, an hour. But it's taking, like, three or four hours. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that Vichy Swa until tomorrow. So I'll probably show you guys in the next vlog the Vichy Swa. But it will be available for sale on the website when, uh, eh, Tuesday by Tuesday. All right, I guess we're not really doing anything on Sunday. Just had to come down, check a few things, and we're leaving. Uh, my guys are just finishing up putting the tooth powder away. Uh, we can probably blend that Vichy Swa up, as I said, tomorrow and finish it. And I think this next vlog, I'm going to try to keep things a little more concise and shorter because an hour for me is a little too long to edit, and I'm not sure everyone's going to want to watch an hour of me rambling on and on about nonsense every day. Yeah, so a lot of new and exciting stuff this week, guys, and I'm excited because we're going to have even more new and exciting stuff in the next vlog. So you guys know to go to frank stefanocom to see all of my interesting businesses. We didn't really talk about uh, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, and Frankie's Naturals that much this week. Maybe I'll just touch on it a little more in the next vlog just to give you guys an idea. But as always, thank you guys so much for joining. Drop a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed and check that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video.